Hey, what's up everybody? It is Sally, and today we are talking sea keepers, in particular Sea Keeper 1. As we spin around over here, you're gonna see we've got a Boston Whaler 270 Vantage. Now, a couple weeks ago, we talked about this boat getting a Sea Keeper 1 installed and what all that entails. And I really wanted to showcase the guy's work here. Corey, he's a new guy with us, and he really stepped it up and knocked it out. So as he goes ahead and gets his stuff cleaned up on here, we're gonna walk on and see some of the cool work that he has done here, getting this boat all ready for the SK-1. This is obviously the heart of the project right here with the SK-1. Now, originally, if we look here on that placard right there, that's where the, all the batteries for this boat used to live. Those had to be relocated. So in order to relocate those, we gotta figure out some things, wire runs, power draws, power consumption, and all those kind of things. So what we've gone ahead and done here is we've put three of the batteries, we've added an additional battery. So you can see we've got three batteries here, we've got our ABYC circuit protection, everything taken care of right there. Then on the other side, we have our other two batteries here, and we've got our uh, battery charger taken care of right there. So let's take a look actually under the front seat, it's a little easier to see. You can see the three batteries right there. So this install was really sweet. It was, you know, this is not a factory option from Boston Whaler for this. So it took some planning, some forethought, like I said, power management, how do we make sure the cable size is the right size as we run our leads forward to new battery location. We also went ahead, we re-plumbed, if you see here, the pumps. Those were over here and they were on top of the electrical connections. And, well. That's just not a good thing. So let's set ourselves up for success. We relocated those pumps to the other side. So all the pumps are on one side, electrical's on the other side, keeps everything very clean and very neat. So what are we gonna do next? Well, next we're gonna get away from the dock here. We're gonna go out and we're gonna do a sea trial validation as it should be required for every new Seakeeper install. We're gonna show you guys what all that entails. And then we're gonna show you guys what the roll reduction actually is for a Seakeeper 1 in a Boston Whaler 27 Vantage, guys. So let's go hop off the dock and see what's going on. All right, so we've gone ahead, we've made a quick run out front. If you look behind me here, you can see it's not particularly rough, but there's, you know, two footers, occasional three rolling through here. And part of validating this sea trial is we have to do a 10 minute run without the sea keeper engaged so we can find what the natural roll of the boat is. And then we do another one, 10 minutes with the sea keeper engaged. That's the portion that we're on now. That's all getting downloaded via this sea keeper app. So once we get this app all you know done it's going to go ahead and it's going to spit out on the other end and it's going to let us know what the roll reduction is for this boston whaler so you can kind of see back here the sea keeper it's going to work you can see the sphere working back and forth right there it's doing its part to keep us nice and level out here as we go ahead and get things rolling so now, if I do my editing right, we're going to cut to what our roll reduction was for this Sea Keeper 1 install on this 2022 Boston Whaler 280 Vantage. So that is a wrap. As you guys saw, the weather was really nice out there, actually. It wasn't maybe the most conducive for getting the full test of a Seakeeper on board, but the results are in, guys. 89% is the initial roll reduction from the app for this 2022 Boston Whaler Vantage 2 80. So that's really impressive. Corey did an awesome job getting this, all the systems wired up, getting the batteries relocated. We had Tyler doing the grid and all that stuff, getting that all taken care of. So it was a great group effort here by Navtronics to make this Seakeeper get installed. Again, this is a non-factory 
option from Boston Whaler. And we were able to take that task on and make it happen. So, you guys want to know more? Maybe you uh, have some questions about Seakeepers, think about getting it for your boat. Reach out to us, sales at Navtronics. Let's talk. And uh, you know, we got more content coming, so be sure to give us a like, follow, subscribe, share. You know the spiel at Navtronics. And we will see you guys out on the water soon. Peace.